Are you spending too much time managing plant styles, updating data, or struggling to keep your planting plans organized? With plant style management, instantly build, manage, and customize your plant style library. Batch edit styles, import data from trusted sources or spreadsheets, and draft with flexible, intuitive tools. This how-to will show you how to get started using a unified plant management system that will save you hours, keep your plant data accurate and project ready, and let you focus on creative planting design. Let's start by activating the plant tool. In the tool mode bar, you can choose between two modes, geometry and library mode, or data mode. With geometry and library mode, you'll immediately see an extensive, organized library of 2D plant symbols, photorealistic images, and 3D models. As you browse, you can use the search bar to filter and preview to find the perfect plant symbol for your project. Import it with a click on select and get designing. If you know exactly what plant you want, use data mode and simply find the plant in the data list. You can also select Browse Plant Data to search by Latin or common name, or filter by bloom color, size, water needs, or any of the other data fields. Then click OK. Behind the scenes, the plant tool builds the plant style by combining data with predetermined 2D and 3D symbols, and sets the spread and height size by category as soon as you select a plant. This workflow is ideal if you are just starting out with Vectorworks Landmark or if you want to build on your pre-existing library. To import your own plant data, use the Create Plant Styles from List command. This feature is particularly useful if you are transitioning from other software or have gathered plant data in spreadsheets or external databases. To get started, select Create Plant Styles from List from the Landmark menu, or use the Quick Search. You'll be prompted to choose your data file. Excel, Tab Delimited, or another format. Select the units for the source data as this ensures that spread and height values are imported accurately. Next, map your spreadsheet columns to the plant style parameters. Most fields will be mapped automatically. Adjust any that need correction. Save the mapping scheme for future imports, making it even faster next time. To complete, Select the 2D symbol to use for all imported plants. While only one symbol can be assigned per import, symbols can be updated in the Plant Style Manager, which we will look at in a moment. Click OK and magic! Hundreds of plant styles are created in minutes, ready for you to use on your projects. This workflow is perfect for firms that want to use their own data or for those who need to quickly create new plants for each new project. Now let's look at the Plant Style Manager, your central hub for managing all your plant styles in a project or in a master list. Open the Plant Style Manager from the Landmark menu. This palette can stay open while you work, giving you a real-time overview of all plant style resources in your active file, not just the ones placed on design layers. At the top right, you'll find a Reload button for updating the list after any changes, and a Column Settings button to choose which columns to display and how large you want the previews to be. Drag columns to reorder them, making it easy to focus on the data that matters most to you. Each column can be sorted and filtered, allowing quick narrowing of the plant list. For example, Filter to display only trees within a specific height or spread range. Edit fields directly or select multiple styles to update several fields at once. To update the category for a group of plants, select the desired styles and apply the change in a single operation. Graphics editing offers flexible control over plant appearance. Replace the 2D or 3D symbols for one or multiple plants in a file. Options for 3D geometry include generated geometry, max on plants, 3D models, or image props. The generated geometry dialog automatically references spread and height from the plant style. Adjust canopy shape, first branch height, and trunk girth as needed. 
Assign classes to the canopy and trunk for streamlined attribute management. The plant style manager also serves as an efficient way to build a plant palette for a project. Filter the library to identify suitable plants. Then select the style and use the Place This Plant Style button to insert it into the planting design. To update a master library, open the file in the Resource Manager, make any necessary changes, and save. This is much faster than updating each plant individually. If you are in need of region-specific plant data, the Copy External Data feature connects you with approved nursery partners to bring accurate plant info directly into your plant styles. Within the Plant Style dialog, or within the Plant Style Manager, select Copy External Data to open a dialog for choosing a nursery or plant source. The list is dynamic, so new partners will be added as they agree to participate. After selecting a source, Browse the partner website within Vectorworks. Locate the desired plant, and then select Copy Data to open a mapping interface. Assign each data field to the appropriate plant style parameter. Most fields map automatically, but manual adjustments are available as needed. Fields containing multiple values, such as two sizes, can be split into separate parameters using the manual value option. Up to three images may be mapped to a plant style. When multiple forms or sizes are available, select the appropriate assortment for your project. Once mapping is complete, confirm the changes. The imported data is added to the plant style, and any mapped spread and height values update the geometry automatically. The style retains the source information, enabling future updates if required. Now, let's draft a design with the plant tool using any polyline vertex mode. Place plants along straight, curved, or freeform paths. When editing a plant grouping, the reshape tool provides a real-time preview of plant placement, supporting both linear and array modes. Adjust vertex types or extend curve segments for more organic layouts. Offset plants from paths to create double rows or border plantings. The offset setting is available in the insertion options pane within the edit plant style dialog, and it applies to all drawing modes. For hedge placement, select from rectangular, staggered, or triple staggered rows and specify the number of plants per linear meter or yard. This approach supports standard specifications used in many regions. In the size and spacing pane, you'll find a checkbox for hedge mode, which is synced with the toolbar button. Specify the number of rows and the spacing between them. Then, to offset the rows, simply check the box and set the distance. Staggered rows maintain a triangular relationship between plants. So if you place them in a curve, the outer row will be placed slightly further apart than the inner row. For offset rectangular rows, the distance between the plants in each row is always the same. The plants per linear meter setting is especially useful for hedges. If you set this value, both rows will be used for the calculation in staggered mode, while in rectangular mode, each row will receive the specified number of plants. This gives you the flexibility to match regional standards and client specifications. Editing the plant polyline, the line connecting plants in a group, offers flexible control over group arrangements. To begin, double-click a plant group or use the context menu to enter Edit Plant Polyline Mode. Within this mode, remove segments, redraw the polyline, or use the Auto Complete button to check for any missed plants. You can also add new vertices by editing the plant's path and using Bezier, Cubic, or Radius Point Mode to curve the line around obstacles. Any extra vertices added are stored for future edits making it easy to refine the path as your design evolves. 
This level of customization lets you create easy to read planting designs. Now that you've seen how plant style management works in this how-to, you're ready to build, manage, and customize your plant library with confidence. Explore these features today. For more information, please check out the Vectorworks University, online help, or the Vectorworks AI Assistant. Start designing smarter and more efficiently with plant style management.